Hello, and welcome to Supreme Commander Forge Lines Forever. On the ladder on Eye of the Storm, classic 1v1 map, everyone should be familiar with. And in the bottom, we have someone I haven't casted before, White Knight, 1630 rating. Playing Cybern. wonder if he always plays Cybern. not sure. And... In the other corner, we have someone who definitely always plays Cybern and always, always spams those Mantis. Salts them with a little bit of Jester and Corsair. It's uh, God King Xerxes noob, member of the noob clan, or the special noob forces. So... Anyone familiar with Xerxes knows what he's all about. It's all about the spam. Spam, spam, spam. With the very occasional T2 Max. Mostly it's Mantis. And then he likes to end the game with some Jesters or Corsairs. So be aware if you're playing against him. And you can see he's, he's quite good at 1900 rating on the ladder. Channeling channeling Yan, ancient ancient mantis spammer so build orders we have uh, Xerxes is gonna make six pigeons before his factory white knight gonna make five and he's gonna add two more before leaving Hydra is already finished can probably just build the and second air factory pretty quick but both of them actually making quite a lot of power with their engineers. So, let's see. Early game, we have a couple of labs from Xerxes. Mantis already here to deny this. Now, there could be an option to run up to this pinnace. So He'll hide up here for an engineer to wait, but he's just a bit too slow, or this Mantis is a bit too fast, so can't do that. Could hide in the corner maybe if he knew there's a mantis coming. On the top, again, mantis ready to face off against the little hunter. No chance for that guy. So you want to expand a bit more with a couple engineers north rather than just the one. Oh, we have a bomber. And he hasn't taken out. The mid engineer, that's a slight missed opportunity. I hear the lab dying down here. A couple of kills for the Mantis now. And he continues on. So, the scout has gone overhead and actually has been saved by uh, being off map. Units tend to just miss when uh, trying to attack off map units. There's a kill. We have three engineers in this position. I don't think they were spotted. The mid engineer. Is still an option. Uh, we already had a target on this next engineer. It's well done. And a uh, couple kills. And the bomber gets taken out. Leaves a bit of mass. Gotta remember to, to uh, reclaim bombers. 85 mass. Not to be sniffed at. In mid, will we have an NG battle? Will either of them realize? Xerxes is trying to get a PD up. So we won't have an NG battle, it seems. Now, White Knight has sent in his inties, and uh, that's a bit of a mistake. He has lost air. You're very unlikely to uh, to be able to win air directly after using a bomber in the early game. And we have an NG battle. And who will win? <laughs> well, it's very close. Zero HP. This engineer is OP. Xerxes sees it, and uh, <laughs> that's pretty nice. Another inti loss there by White Knight, but he actually has quite a few on the way. It looks like he, he may actually be able to win air. We have three land factories, and we have two air factories. And we actually have the same for Xerxes. And now, White Knight's ACU is in mid, so... It's actually a, nice to not, not kill those unfinished structures because you can reclaim them for energy as well as 
mass, but uh, it's hard to stop your AC from doing it. <laughs> you have to put him on hold fire or something. Really try hard. A couple of mantis looking to do damage, but it's actually eight engineers are quite slow here to the to the top. Not much to kill. We have a transport. That's very nice from White Knight. It's gonna drop this side. It is uh, pretty much essential when you make a transport, or when you send your AC to mid, that you make a transport so that you can actually safely expand to the corners. So very nice play to have the transport here. And actually no units, so you can see if Xerxes knew, Xerxes had better scouting. Actually, he should know that the AC is mid now, but if he had spotted him in going to mid while he's underwater, which you can spot, thanks to the sonar on air scouts uh, then he could uh, invest more in units on the bottom side knowing that the AC was not going to be there White Knight also d didn't send many units down here actually sent most of his units to the top while dropping the bottom left so he kind of got away with that but I don't think it was a great idea does need to get this hydro pretty badly looks like he's going to drop on it with more engineers which maybe maybe slight mistake. Maybe dropping here would be good because uh, with all these mantis here, he could could rush a PD very quickly. Mantis could actually spam T1 PDs here, <laughs> thanks to the mantis. It's it's actually a really good strategy to uh, make T1 PDs with mantis. Definitely gotta incorporate that into your into your uh, cyber gameplay. The zero HP mantis. Or engineer, just just soldiers on. He's not, he's not going to the infirmary. He's just gonna carry on. I have a sliver of life, and I must build. So spam planned for White Knight. He knows what he's up against. He's up against Xerxes. So we have some small amount of echoing. One T two Max. Another one halfway there. Xerxes. Xerxes actually has two mexes up already and four naval factories as well as a torp launcher and a sonar. He's making subs and frigates. Bit of a wasted army here from from White Knight. Didn't do any damage at all really. Give Xerxes some vet points. Did a little bit of damage to him, but by the time Xerxes uses his commander again, I'm sure he's going to be full HP. Here we have a drop. Nice drop. Engineers are the best to drop here. Much better than tanks, because you can just take the mexes. You raid and increase your eco at the same time. Oh, this engineer survived out of the transport. The other one was killed. And now White Knight is winning air, it seems. Pretty comprehensively not bad micro but it it's easy to have good micro when you have twice or three times as much air he's continuing to eco as well try and get ahead of Xerxes but the navy is the problem here so we have a torp launcher definitely going to defend him against subs but there's a lot of navy here and uh, this is where subs are not so good because the subs are not going to be useful with this uh, against this torp launcher. The torp launcher is the just just crushes subs. So if this was all frigates, it would be much better actually for Xerxes. He could just he could probably still just rush in, uh, target down the torp launcher, kill the frigate first, target down the torp launcher with frigates, and then send in the subs. That would be and uh, win navy from there. Then go T two navy. Have a lot of spam on the left, and White Knight is sort of suiciding his units, unfortunately, leaving some mass. And uh, now he retreats, trying to save what he can. His ACU has relocated after securing mid and building a factory. He moved down to the bottom side, and it, that gives him nice map control. And he has lost this uh, mech that he stole, but he's doing well. He has more power, more mass income. Or T2 Mexes. He definitely has less Navy though. But Xerxes, being the Mantis spammer he is, is uh, 
focusing on his mantis and idling his poor navy. So what's the plan? What is the plan? Eo. Damn, he has three kills. Oh, it's the mod that renames stuff with veterancy, maybe? Maybe that's it. Just renames different kind of things. We have T2 Air. A good choice considering the air victory that uh, White Knight won. We do have Xerxes with a nice land mix. Let's see. Nine in here. Seven anti airs in here, so. Gunships, uh, three or four gunships will be able to kill us pretty quick, but uh, it'll help. It'd certainly deny. A very small number of gunships from doing much damage. White Knight with his ACU making PDs. Uh, Commander upgrade might be might be a good choice here just to hold the spam, but he looks like he can actually hold by himself anyway. A lot of T1 Navy. Look at how much T1 Navy there is. This is the main... the main... portion of his army, really. Well, he has, he has more mass in his land units, but this is a huge, huge amount of mass in this. Over 5,000, so... He should be scouting his opponent's navy, and he could have could have crushed it already. We have T2 navy finished. White Knight just starting T2 navy, I believe. Oh no, starting T2 on his commander. And making quite a lot of eco. <clears throat> you can see T2 Max is 4, T2 Max is just about in the bottom left corner. So he has to be very careful now that he has... Has invested in all that economy that he doesn't get punished. Nice wall here. A second one would make it even better. But as it is, this is pretty nice. Medusa on the other side of this wall would be good too. But he only has Mantis. On the left. It looks pretty good for Xerxes. But this commander is now finished and he's making T2PDs. Xerxes... Winning naval comprehensively, but oh, here come the torp bombers. They're gonna destroy the subs very quickly, and the frigates won't last much longer. Medusa from Xerxes will destroy, and can I kill the walls pretty quick too? A lot, a lot of mass here in this this area. Also a lot of mass being left here, but less so because of the, the Medusas killing a lot of it. And certainly with these four PDs, there's no chance for the T1 army to do anything. That's gonna leave a lot of mass for for White Knight, and his air is doing very well for him. We have to see well, a lot more inties, maybe a cruiser. Now the walls are going down. I think with the walls you want to split attack with these uh, Medusa and you'll get through it a lot faster than using the Mantis. Need new walls here <laughs> from uh, from White Knight and maybe, maybe, ah, oh, actually, you know, a commander drop back to here so you can build PDs, that would be very sexy. Oh, the, the HU is being targeted by the torp bombers and it is actually dying quite quickly these torp bombers are not being killed and we're down to five and a half thousand hp some of the shots being absorbed by the building destro and of course the it is um regening at 40 per second and now the air comes in and Xerxes is slightly idle and he has less and now the Corsairs move in to finish off the T2HQ. Nice move there. On the right this looks very dangerous however. We have T2PDs being built but it may be too late. Corsairs kill the T2P gen now that after finishing the Cybern HQ, the Naval HQ. And we have a T2 Max going down as well. Second one targeted. But there's quite a lot of T1 power. And over on the right, 
Uh, we have more economy coming, but yeah, the TTBDs are late. The Medusa just stun it, and it's going to do nothing now. Once the Medusa are there, they will just perma stun. And this looks really bad on the right hand side as the economy is getting destroyed in the main base for Xerxes. Three of his T2 Mexes and his T2 P Gen are dead and his T2 Naval HQ. So a huge amount of damage. The Navy needs to come home. Oh my god, he's completely overrun. And good reaction to make the T2 P Gen on the left because he's surely going to lose everything here. He has he has nothing to defend. He has this Destro that's just come out now. This second this first Destro needs to come back and help and also the Corsairs could be used but right now he's losing everything he's gonna lose all the mexes he's already lost all the factories and pigeons here he's already lost a lot of pigeons here and the medusa gonna do so much damage there's not much left even ooh it's painful and we have the flax taking care of the air gonna deny any you can't can't send interceptors here anymore the aoe is just too brutal we have the mexes on the right now being targeted and killed and you know know all about xerxes and his spam and that's what he's done he's just spammed this place to death somehow he finds a way White Knight making another P gen, making T2 air in this base. He's, he's going to have to rely solely on this base now. Although the T2 HQ died, there's not much navy for for White Knight. He did lose it somewhere along the way. <laughs> along here, I can see some quite a few dead bolts, but. He does have two destroyers versus one. I think overall this might be a bit slightly scarier. And the Corsair is just killing so much stuff, but the Xerxes is just in the water hiding. Now, if he's not hiding too well, he doesn't have stealth, so he can be spotted by anything with sonar. He only has one T2 mechs left. The rest are dead. Look at all these dead mechs. These were T2 as well. This was T2. All these four were T2. They're all dead. These were T1. They're dead. At least these two were T2. This one was probably T1. So He only has one T2 mechs left. But he has wiped out the original base of White Knight. And his spam is running on. And he has more spam on the left. Quite a lot. And there are PDs. Ready and waiting, and one here, and small army, but this is quite dangerous. And meanwhile, no more, no more T2 Navy. It's just focusing on rebuilding and gathering all the mass that's left. <clears throat> this T2 HQ is just out in the middle of nowhere now, completely surrounded by enemy units. Corsairs are turned onto the Cyber Destros. Actually, there's only one left. Oh, he only had one, in fact. But, uh... He used it well. He used this navy well to kill a lot of... A lot of White Knight's navy. And actually getting the spam over the left, I didn't realize you could run up that hill. But he has done so. And he's in the back of the base. PD's doing a lot of damage. Defending pretty well. But this is definitely a dead mech. And more Mantis on the right. Every mech on the way. Barring just a couple of lucky ones. Have been killed. The spam is real. And the navy. Well it looks like there will be one Destro left standing. But the HQ. The HQ is actually in range of Medusa. And has been killed with a almost complete destry, you can tell. It has just been damaged, but it was almost complete. 
Oh. Painful. And White Knight suddenly... Well... He has nothing... Nothing left outside of this position. Now he has mass, but he has he has no naval build power. He has one Destro that's half HP. He has no land units, no map control. He has a few Inties, that's, that's true. And he has a few gunships, but he doesn't have any... Oh, he does actually have a few Corsairs, but they will be killed very shortly. They're just... Pirate patrolling around now they're, now they're gonna die. Damn. Let's take a look at his POV. Yeah. That's that's pretty sad. How did he let this happen? How did he let his base die? Very unfortunate. I think he just he just got spammed and now Xerxes although he took so much damage you can see Xerxes lost his lost his naval HQ T2 P gen T2 Mexes but he killed his opponent's entire first base so you can't argue with that only now getting his mass back that's, that's a bit bit slow he's making stealth this is good. Avoiding, gonna avoid snipes. Ooh, we have T2 Mexes in mid. And some P gens being added. So that's something, but Xerxes has quite a few T2 Mexes now. Six. Making more. It doesn't really matter how many T2 Mexes you have when you have this kind of map control. And he is going to T2 Navy once again. <clears throat> Very sensible decision to just kill the Navy. Has to be careful with this commander because we're still a destroyer and a destroyer can do a lot of damage to a commander. And so can uh, this air. We could see tor bombers, but it's going to be very difficult to find the the ACU in the water. Gotta have frigates next to him to find him thanks to the water vision you get. <laughs> the orcs are gathering at the gates. Here they come running down, scuttling down. Gonna wait behind this cliff to defend them from the destroyer. Even have some colonizing in the bottom, taking those T2 Maxes and all the wrecks, the HQs, P gens, a lot of mass there. Ships try to go to work. There's quite a lot of anti air now. Oh, we have 16, and they're not being targeted down. T2 Navy from White Knight again. We have two Destros, but there's a lot of T1 Navy here, plus two Destros, and the ACU going back to the safer main base away from the secondary base. I mean, there was opportunities here for for White Knight maybe to find the commander and kill him. It hasn't been working out. He hasn't hasn't managed to do that. And now it looks like he may have less air as well. <clears throat> he is losing a lot of gunships. So many units, so much spam, just waiting, waiting for the order to run in. Probably gonna try and use both armies at the same time. Rhino's being built in mid. <laughs> Probably should make Wagner's instead. A 
lot of PD here with a lot of kills but no PDs on the right side oh oh we do have some now and more on the way and that looks very bad naval wise white knight has just lost all of his navy too much t1 very similar similar t2 numbers there similar destroyer numbers but a lot more t1 as you would expect from xerxes now the gunship's going to try and thin this out there's a lot of mantis coming and a lot of medusa pathfinding is screwing with them And this may be the end. Although the pathfinding is completely wrecking these T1 units. Now the shield does go down and that means the Medusa shots are going to land. You can see the servers all stuck together. Getting stunned by the same shells. Stun also works through shields. And the naval comes in now. Will this destroyer finish? Oh, it will. And it should be killed very quickly. Air. Gonna be one as well. The PDs are down. And the base is dying. This is it for White Knight. Spam too strong. Yeah. He got spammed to death by Xerxes, everyone has. <laughs> GG. <laughs> well played. Nice stuff for both guys. And exactly what you would expect from Xerxes. Another game closed out with 2-1 spam. This time at 33 and a half minutes. Probably not a record for him. <laughs> He's probably spammed people to death even later than this, but no, not bad. 33 minutes, pretty good. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.